In this video, we will learn how to import a MySQL database easily using command line. First, we need to make sure that the .sql file you wish to import is accessible on the server. We can do this inside cPanel by uploading the .sql file via File Manager. Click Select File or drag the file into the box. We won't be uploading a file as we already have the file on the server. Once the loading bar has turned green, press Go Back. Here you can see the name of our uploaded database. To import the database via MySQL, you will need to know the name of the database, database username, and database password. If you are using WordPress, you can find this information in the wp-config.php file. This is our database credentials. This is our database credentials. We will leave this tab open as we will need to enter this information into Terminal later. Once your file has been uploaded to the server, you will need to access your server via your SSH credentials. If you are using cPanel, you can use Terminal instead, which we will be using on our shared hosting plan. If you don't have access to Terminal on your hosting platform, you'll need to contact your hosting provider to give you access. You now need to navigate to the directory where you have uploaded the .sql file. You can do this by using the cd command. Our file is located in public HTML, so our command would be cd public HTML. We are also using the ls command, which allows us to see the current directory files. Once you have navigated to the correct folder, enter the following command, mysql -u username -p database name bracket file name dot sql. Make sure you change the username, database name, and file name to your own, then press enter. If you remember our WordPress credentials from earlier, our command would be mysql -u shared we wp 519 p shared we wp 519 bracket exported database sql. Enter your database password. We will be copying it from the wp-config file. Press Enter and your database will import. Your file has now been successfully imported. You can now close the terminal or SSH window and check your website. If you are looking for website hosting, click the link in the description.